Hi everyone, so it's Primp and Proper once again and thank you for watching and if you are watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Please don't. Um, so I've been wanting to address this for quite some time now because it's really been bothering me. So I just wish women will get rid of the B word, calling each other the B word. Like, I think that is so derogatory. Like, I'm so fed up with people thinking it's okay. For a woman thinking it's okay to address ourselves as the B word. Like, ugh, get that out of your vocabulary. You don't want... How can you, with the same mouth, say that you're a B, I'm a... I'm a... The baddest B, and still call yourself a queen? They don't match. I'm sorry. If you address yourself as a queen, you can address yourself as a B, the B word. I really took that word out of my vocabulary like years ago. Um, and I think I only said it because that's what everybody else was doing. They made it cool to call each other the B word. Like, I don't know where I got it from. Obviously on TV or in songs where when a woman says, I'm the baddest B. So you made it okay, I'm the baddest B. Like, you know, but that's when you don't know yourself. When you know yourself and you like really know who you are, you won't allow people to address you in that way and you won't even address or identify with that word. People think it's nothing, but no, it is something. If you don't, this is what bothers me. Women will call each other that all day. Yeah, beep. Beep, 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 beep. But as soon as a man gets mad and call them, addresses them in that same manner, they're offended. So it's okay for your sister, your friend, the person you're supposed to ride for and love. Like, I love my sister. Why would you address me in that manner? But I can't. I won't even allow a man to address me. Obviously, there's some there's some kind of disconnection that we don't even know why we think it's okay. We just fit into the masses. We're just fitting into hip-hop culture and thinking it's okay. I'm telling you right now. Can we please? Can we just like, like make a pact where we all promise not to address each other in that manner? We can say other words. Like, I remember I picked up the word fish, but then I was like, Ugh, I got to put that down too. Like, when I stopped saying the B word, I started saying fish. And I was like, ah, I can't call people fish. That's Some people find that offensive as well. And especially if you go to Jamaica, fish means something else. So I can't go around calling people fish. That was like something I had to break too. So I stopped calling people fish. And then I'm like, girl. So now that's my thing. So I know it's not going to be easy for you to um, let go of the B word. But you can replace it with something else. Something more empowering. Queen. Like, girl. Child. Like, things like that. I don't know. Um, and, you know, on a spiritual aspect of it, words have power. So, wouldn't you rather give power to someone or give life to someone? Because words have power to give life or death. So, what would you rather do? Give life or death to a situation? If your sister... Is next to you and you you know you having fun wouldn't you rather address her in a manner that will give her life when you call a woman queen or you call a woman beautiful you don't have to say I'm the baddest beat sis you're so beautiful today I feel like that encourages a woman way more you're speaking to the to her heart to the spirit that's inside of her not her flesh I don't want to be a bad bee let's kill it like seriously let's kill this whole bad bee thing Let's be queens. Let's be queens again. I want to make I want to make being a queen and being a young lady back in style. It's okay. It's okay. We don't have to fit into the masses. I'm sorry. I I just refuse. So I'm making a pact. I don't know if you want to comment below. We're going to make a pact to never address each other as the B word again. And I want to know who's on my side. And if you don't like this video, I'll pray for you. Because if you want to be called a B-word, like, I'm going to pray for you, sis. I'm going to pray. 
That's all I do. Gotta go. I have to go to God. But you know what I find kind of hard? Even though I don't say the B word, you know, some people are so stuck in their ways that they still try to address me in that manner or they still say it around me and I still feel uncomfortable. I still feel like, uh, like it's just something that happens in my heart. Like a disconnect, like, uh, like, uh, I can't even explain it, but I feel offended when I hear that word around me or when I hear another woman addressing another woman in that manner. And sometimes it's not even out of anger. It's just, that's how they talk. And I just like, I'm kind of disappointed. I really do feel disappointed. It's just like, you don't know who you are. Because if you knew who you were, if you caught a revelation of who you were, you would never allow someone to speak those things over your life. Because remember, like the Bible says, words have power. And for relationships and friendships, you know, they have such a impact on our lives. So I just feel like, if you're in a relationship with someone, I'm not even just talking about like boyfriend and girlfriend, I'm talking about relationships, like friendships, things like that. Um, you would just want best for the person. You would just want to empower the person. I don't know, I'm just on this whole thing. I just had to get that off my chest. I really had to get that off my chest because that has been bothering me for some time now. And I just feel like, People don't know why they do it or why they think it's okay to say it. It's because everybody else is doing it. So they just, you know, do what's in, I guess. But, yeah, let's just make a pack. This is a real short video. I just want to get that off my chest. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you Crap. I broke, I broke, I broke it. Mm, well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to like and leave comments down below. It's Primp and Proper.